So take a minute and write these numbers down as I go along. They're gonna kind of blow your mind if you haven't heard these before. Okay, another nugget coming at you. In this nugget, I'm gonna talk about some crazy sales statistics. This might be a great video to share with your sales staff. And the information came from National Sales Executive Association. So take a minute and write these numbers down as I go along. They're gonna kind of blow your mind if you haven't heard these before. This first section goes through the statistics on follow-up for the average sales person. So, 48% of salespeople never follow up with a prospect. 25% of salespeople make a second contact and stop. 12% of salespeople only make three contacts and stop. And only 10% of salespeople make more than three contacts, right? So think about that. That's how often salespeople are calling back. It's pretty alarming stuff. So let's look at how many follow-ups it takes to sell the average customer. Write these numbers down too, if you will. 2% of sales are made on the first contact. 3% of sales are made on the second contact. So that's pretty low. 5% of sales are made on the third contact. So it's going up a little bit. And then 10% of sales are made on the fourth contact. So right there, you have about 20% total. 80% of sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact. That's a really important number. So what does all that mean? It means most salespeople don't do follow-up and most sales requires at least five follow-up calls or whatever it is, what you're, however you're following up in order to get it sold. Here's another way to look at that. Let's say as a salesperson, you get 50 ups or opportunities to do business in a month. And it could come from all a variety of sources, walk-in, internet, phone, whatever they are. So you get 50. Let's say you close 10% of your sales that month. So the first 50 as they go through with no follow-up, you close 10%, that equals five sales. That would leave you with 45 leads that did not purchase. So if 2% of the sales are made with the first follow-up, and then you did your first follow-up call with those 45, you would get one more sale. So you still have 44 left. Next is 3% of sales are made on that second follow-up. So you do your second follow-up, you get one more sale. Now you're down to 43 leads. 5% of sales are made on the third follow-up. So you get two more there and you got 41 leads less. And then if 10% of sales are made on the fourth time, then you get four more sales, right? And then you have 37 leads left that haven't purchased. And under this scenario, you would end up with about 13 sales, which is close to a 25% closing ratio. Not bad, right? You get 13 car sales. Well, you're the average guy following up four times or less. What if you had those 37 unsold leads and you followed up on them? If you condition yourself to follow up between five and 12 times, you pick up the other 80% of sales which is another 30 sales. So you go from 13 to 43. Hopefully by now you figured out that no one of the secret or none of the top performers have any secrets in sales. They just follow up with the lead until they buy or they die. A lot of times the difference between the 10 unit person and the 20 or 30 unit salesperson is simply follow up. So start working on your follow up today.